Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Reaper today and we're playing on World of Tanks console with the T3 Russian SU-76M, that's right, this little guy right here. But let's get right into what this little guy can do. For one, the penetration of the gun with the AP damage is 78 uh, meters of penetration, but the AP CR gets 120. Uh, which is the premium ammunition and the HG gets 38 damage is 110 for both the AP and APCR the HG gets 156 but that only depends on if you can penetrate with HG hit points is 155 max speed is 48 miles per hour the range is 341 and concealment is 229 I would recommend making the concealment um, and the view range on this thing a little bit better uh, do because well simply this is a tank destroyer that has an open cockpit uh, when you talk about tank this back here if already smacks you back here you're dead it could probably one shot you because you can't get one shot by already <laughs> that's for sure but this, because this is a Tech Tree tank, it does get the decision of three different guns. A 57 ZIS 8S gun. Or a 76 ZIS 3 gun. Or another 57 ZIS 2 gun. The one I go for is the 76 one. I uh, simply do because the 76 does a lot more damage towards the 57. The 57 does 65 damage per minute. Yes, it gets a decent amount of penetration with standard AP rounds but the damage is a lot more or less and the DPM well rate of fire it's it's well a little bit more yes about probably another few more oh wrong area to go to but it also gets two different engines the gas 203 which is the stock and the M80 again tank that's the wrong number operation it also gets the stock SU-76 subvention and the upgrade subvention, the SU-76M. And it gets two different radios, nine, the stock 9R radio and the 9RM radio. And that's all with those things. The equipment, I put advanced optics to improve the, the uh, V range, advanced concealment to improve the concealment of the tank and advanced loading so it approves the loading time of the gun. I put a repair kit, first aid and fire exchanger because you never know when you're going to need them. I put around 50 rounds of AP, 5 rounds of APCR and 5 rounds of HE. Usually I don't use APCR or the premium rounds too too often but I only use them if I really 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 absolutely need to use my premium rounds. My commander, I do actually have a commander for my Russian tank tours, but he only has one skill, which is green thumb. That's the only skill he has for now that adds again the camouflage factor of the tank. So you really want to be more stealthy in this kind of tank destroyer than you expect it to be. But the armor as well was covered by the armor of this tank destroyer. The it has five meter sickness, which is the back of here in the back and inside and those little pieces right there on top of the roof of the open cockpit like I said probably weakly armor right there five meters thick the gun right there that big piece right there with the gun the upper like roof part right there and the belly of the tank is around seven meters thick ten meters thickness which is the front of that part of that um piece for the gun and then right there you know that the above Hang on! The uh, that one little bit right there, size, also the sides of the fighting compartment. Uh, 15 meter sickness, which is the um, gun mantlet, the rear of the tank, the sides of the tank, and the tracks. 20 meter sickness, which is the gun, which I don't know why they really had that in here, but okay. Uh, 25 meter sickness, which is the front of the fine compartment and the upper graces, right there. And 30 meter sickness, which is the most thickest spot 
the lower graces. It's Russian, so it doesn't make sense. And I think that's going to be it for now, guys, uh, for the review of the tank in the garage. Uh, I hope you guys uh, would like this video, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. See you there. So, wait, well, here's our first game, guys, on port. Well, actually, a pretty decent game, to be honest. <laughs> uh, it was a really good one that I figure it would be good enough for this video and stuff. Pretty much I like this tent short, it's a... Well, in real life, this thing was basically, I think it was an SPG artillery, so it was more likely artillery in real life. But in real things here, it's actually a tank destroyer, so... I'm not going to complain about what this thing really is in real life. Uh, do because, well, you know, this is World Tanks, so... The thing with been artillery. But we do have another version of it as a artillery version. Uh, but this is just a tank destroyer version. Um, so, yeah. Which is, it's, it's pretty cool to have something like this as a historical tank. Because most tanks and world tanks, there is a bunch of tanks that never really did exist. Uh, the only way they really did exist was more on to the design of blueprints or prototypes. Uh, there was a bunch of tanks. Like, the mouse, for example, was basically a prototype. It never really existed as a fully workable designed tank. Heavy German tank, so yeah. But well, let's get into this battle. We get right into it. We're actually aiming down, seeing that Panzer 1. We actually took a bounce right there. I hit that Panzer 1C. I did take a shot. Brought back my driver or something like that. I get hit again. I think it's that steward over there. That really hit me that hard. But still, I'm looking at this Panzer 1C, he does get taken out. And I see this Panzer 1C right here, aiming, and he actually stops right there. So I've hit him once. But remember the Panzer 1 there, guys. I missed him right there, that shot. Because we're going to see him again. And here's this little steward right here. I hit him right there without aiming down my sights. He's trying to kill me. I try to fire him, blocked aim, which missed. And I'm waiting for it. I hit him right there. And he could took it out by my teammate. Which is the Crusader Mark 1. I. I come over here. I'm ready for this Japanese light tank to come over. I'm waiting, waiting. I don't want to push out because he is a light tank. I don't know if he knows I'm here. Then I get spotted. I see a teammate, enemy team over there. And he gets taken out. But Rauti, he wasn't going for me. My teammate behind me gets killed. I was like, huh, wait, what? But I pull forward to try to shoot at this MX-38. It bounces. And I rise. There's a light tank behind me. So, I killed him. Because I went backwards. And I rise. There's a medium tank coming. He's a one-shot kill for my gun. I should have probably went around the corner, but I really didn't want to take any more damage than I needed to. Because I didn't know, which is a good thing I did do this part right here, backed up. Because I also see realized he was going this way, so I was right for a shot. I fired, but one of my teammates already took him out. So I said thank you to him, the T-127, a Russian Tier 3 light tank. And I see the AMX-38 coming down. I was like, you know what, let's go and intercept him, see if we can kill this guy. So, yeah. This good battle was a pretty close, uh, pretty decent, really good battle. I did a pretty decent amount of damage. I actually blocked some damage. I was pretty surprised of getting that much blocked and I got some assistance. The AMX-38, though, was, it really surprised me. I know that tank is not really the fastest tank. It's like, wow, oh, where is he? Where is he at? I didn't realize he was on the main map right away. Until now, I realized he was there. One of my teammates got killed. The Panzer 1C by the Panzer 4. And I went actually after the pan the AMX. I stopped right here, aimed. Actually, him did a good bit of damage. He's backing up. That shot only distracted him. He does hit me once, hits me twice, damaged my damn engine, and I killed him. So I repaired the engine and battle was over because my teammates took out the Panzer IV.
uh, the Panzer 4A. But that was that was like I said a pretty deep, extremely good game for me, and I did came second on my team. I like that. Sometimes you get these second places, third places, or MVP of your team. But that was a game for me there guys and I liked how this game went. But you know what? I hope you guys like this game too. Because if you did, please press that thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel guys if you want to. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.